synchronize puzzles of balls on the launch monitor. Fitness to the edge. And sometimes a willingness to change. Something right? Okay. Make the commitment to launch, and an investment in a moment to turn into the flight of your life. There you go. Championship, Tom Roscoe, a pinnacle long drive team member, started getting the feeling that his loft and his driver might be robbing him of some distance. That's the high right miss, man. The end of the range was the state of the art Third Cobra one. Tech Van with its new Second launch monitor. Third the one. answer to his question was Six only that far away. With our new uh, performance monitor, we're able to take both ball and club data. So I'm going to come over and take a look at your numbers. We've been able to see ball speed and launch angle and spin rates are very important things in fitting. We can now also see your path and yeah, we can see your attack angle. And we can measure exactly where you hit him in the face. You're just below the equator, okay. and just a little heel heavy, which you know, for the most part, that's really not a bad, bad spot to go. At the Cushman Company, we're definitely doing our part to try to bring you know, this technology and make it more accessible for the recreational golfer. The next year, I'm gonna try to launch 20 to 25 of these, these launch monitors across the country. The process with Tom and anyone who gets on the monitor starts with the driver you already have to get a baseline of data. From there, it's it. off to find something even better. I'm going to go with your 7 degree? Yeah. Okay. A little bit closer, maybe. Okay. The driver feels good, but it just feels, I don't know. You don't feel like you're hitting it high enough? Yeah, I, I, feel, uh, I don't feel like I'm hitting it. Or I want to. Okay, okay. I'll go and take a look at your numbers. All right, sounds good. When we come back, more with the Cobra Tour Van and an answer to Tom's question. Alright, have a seat. Looking at our uh, the first club that you hit, the 414 Comp Tour Driver, MV75X. So for the most part, you hit it pretty well. You know, a little shorter length than you're used to, like we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. Your club head speed about 130 on average. So definitely slower, I know, than what you're used to. Okay, so we got a club B, your second, a seven degree. You said you, know, you, you thought you definitely had problems as far as your launch angle, you know, getting it up and keeping it up in the air. Mm -hmm. You know, we definitely saw that. Uh, you know, you're looking at anywhere from 1,600 to 1,800 spin on average. At that low the spin rate, you know, what you're going to need to do to keep it in the air is hit it higher. You know, we get you at 12, 13, 14, you definitely can see a significant improvement. Okay. So we jumped into the third club. We definitely got your back spin up. Catch up to almost close to 2,300. But what we did do, we get you on average 13, 13, 5 on your launch angle, and that made a significant difference. I mean, you went from 325 carry to almost 350 carry. Your thoughts were right. You said, yeah, you probably do need a little more launch. Absolutely. You do need a little more launch. Take a recreational golfer who launches the ball, let's say, 12 degrees, and they hit it at about 3,000 RPM. So this is a pretty good ratio to, you know, the what something we fit into. You know, whereas the long drive, similar launch angle, but the spin rate's definitely gonna have to be lower because of the extreme speeds they hit at. Now we basically determined from the numbers that what Tom come to us with today, he had a seven degree head that he said he didn't like and he didn't hit high enough. And sure enough, through the numbers that we found, he definitely did. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install an eight degree 450 Cobra SE long drive head onto his AccuFlex shaft, which he's been using for about the last uh, couple of months. It is an AccuFlex Evolution Nano Composite double X shaft. Uh, we're going to put it in at its standard length, which is going to come out to about 47 inches. Uh, we're not going to cut uh, any tip or butt trim. Uh, we're looking at a weight of 78 grams on this shaft. About 2.84 and a high kick point. So really this, this shaft is absolutely designed for a long driver. That shaft in particular is nanotechnology, which is what we're using to basically uniform the materials from tip to butt. You know, somewhat of a lower torque shaft, it's about 2.8 torque. The material's gotten so much better over the years, it will actually create less gaps in the fiber to produce more consistency throughout the shaft from the tip end to the butt end. This is a Golf Ride Cobra Tour Velvet Grip. It's one of uh, Tom's preferred grips. Just gives, gives him a little more, a little more traction, basically, with the more.
more force for a grip. So we're going to go with this at the standard size. Do not prefer a larger grip. Uh, these guys, they don't have one driver. And they have upwards of three to four. Some of them have a dozen. So, you know, that gives them an opportunity to bring in basically what they have and for us to build it up for them. And then we'll them get right out there and try and test it and see if it works. Or, you know, that eight degree head or that seven degree head that they really wanted is really working with that particular shaft company. There you go. Tech Titan is brought to you by Golfsmith.